Guide dogs to transform how visually impaired customers use ATMs. The South African Guide Dogs Association for the Blind, with the support of APSA, train guide dogs to assist visually impaired customers at ATMs. The South African Guide Dogs Association for the Blind and APSA have today formalized a relationship that will see guide dogs undergo rigorous, dedicated training aimed at assisting visually impaired customers at ATMs. Increasing safe and secure ATMs using across the differently abled communities is a priority for both APSA and the association. Given concerns that visually impaired customers have around ATM usage and the ever-present risk of fraudsters, this is the latest step in improving and increasing self-service banking usage in South Africa. As a bank with more than 8,000 ATMs across South Africa, we are constantly seeking ways to make the experience more accessible to customers from all walks of life. From multiple languages on ATMs, Braille to audio prompts, we have been on a constant journey to improve APSA's self-service channels. Our latest partnership with the South African Guide Dogs Association for the Blind will have long-term benefits for visually impaired customers using ATMs, regardless of who they bank with, said Tswela Mtlantla, Managing Executive, Physical Channels, Retail and Business Bank at APSA. As part of the partnership, APSA, with the support of Metal Techniques and Byte Technology, installed a fully functional ATM at the association's headquarters in Polshof to assist with the training of guide dogs. Security concerns have always been a major in impediment to ATM usage for the visually impaired community. As an organization, the South African Guide Dogs Association for the Blind aims to enhance the mobility and independence of people with visual, physical or developmental needs. The effort to insert an ATM card into the machine and key in the pin can be exhausting and the act of a service dog retrieving the card and giving it to them makes the task less onerous. Having access to our own ATM will allow us to teach our client and dogs in a relaxed, controlled environment without disturbing others. We can show our clients how to instruct their dogs and practice as much as they need to said Vernon Tutin, Executive Director of the South African Guide Dog Association for the Blind. Furthermore, the association provides training to students, orientation and mobility practitioner, for short it's O&M practitioners, and directly to people who are visually impaired. We currently have nine O&M practitioner students will also be taught the skills needed to train people with visually impairment on how to use an ATM. Once they are working in the community, they are all able to teach the skills to approximately 40 people with visually impairment a year. All our future students will, will also undergo this training. Our deepest appreciation goes to APSA Retail and Business Bank for their support and for empowering us to train clients and service dogs, which will ultimately assist customers from all the major banks, not just those who bank with APSA, he said. To ensure maximum flexibility and relevance, the nature of training will be enhanced and fine-tuned in line with real-time insights uh, from the initial programs. Feedback from customers and the dog's uptake of the training will be closely monitored to ensure that this is meaningful for both ATM users. In addition, and the APSA will analyze first hand customer experiences and feedback to inform ongoing enhancement and functionality on ATMs to further improve the experience for visually impaired customers. Making a meaningful contribution to the communities in which we operate, particularly the vulnerable and differently abled is of paramount importance. Gaining insight and learnings is critical in tailoring our offerings to cater for all our customers. 
EPSA is proud to support the training of both guide dogs as well as the blind community on the use of ATMs noted. To phone in allows users to feel objects in photos on their touch screens. HAP to you. A haptics developer specialized in integrating sensory intelligence into tactile surfaces will unveil HAP to Phone, the world's first haptic cell phone display at CES 2020. Sensations in smartphones are currently limited to a vibration when receiving a text message or a click via vibrotactile technology. HAP to You is introducing HD texture sensation to offer new performance capabilities, potentially leading to the ability to feel the texture of, for example, clothing display on an online store. One of hap to use aim is to allow smartphone users to send a text message without looking, by being able to fill individual letters on the screen keyboard. hap to you is a CES 2020 Innovation Award honoree. It also garnered a CES award in 2017. Hap to use haptic smartphone touchscreen. Hap to your phone is an outstanding achievement, says Cedric Chapas, CEO of Hap to You. We anticipate that Hap to Phone will attract strong interest from OEMs and system integrators seeking to enhance the end user experience by improving their interaction with connected objects and machines. We believe that haptics will play a bigger role in enhancing sensory intelligence in smartphones. The company integrates a thin film piezoelectric solution under the glass cover, meaning haptics can be felt over the full screen. Once this hardware is installed, it is the role of the software to get the exact haptic feeling in the right place. Any additional weight is, um, is marginal. The impact on display power consumption is also minimal and roughly 1%. By applying a friction coefficient, HAP to you can make distinct variations in touch sensation. Intense or soft nicks, spring, buttons, elasticity and all kinds of high to end evaluation points and textures, allowing the nerve endings in fingertips to detect different sensations, then signaling the brain to interpret them. Hap to use touch sensation technology is not only intended for smartphones, its solution is compatible with all touch surfaces. Founded in 2015, the company has pioneered developments in haptics beyond glass surfaces to include wood, metal and plastic. It has applications in the automotive industry for HMI displays, controls for manufacturing equipment and smart buildings. The Daimler AG, the German multinational automotive corporation, invested $4.4 million in HAP2U in 2018 for applications in future car models. As sales of these prototypes grow and preparations for a new fundraising round gets underway, HAP2U will aim at licensing its technology to the smart home and smart building markets as well as the healthcare and manufacturing industries. Source, Cool Blind Tech.